All right, my, 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 Gemini, it is I, it is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you know what is going on in the month of May in 2020. Show me the money energy, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of y'all that has clicked this video. Listen, are y'all ready for the Scorpion New Moon? <laughs> Scorpion for more child. Listen to me, Tonita. What is that? May 7th, child. Listen to me, girl. Listen. Okay. We are reloading. Okay. So listen, I want to give a big shout out to every last one of you guys who have sent love through the Amazon wish list. That if you have sent any support through the Amazon wish list, the Cash App, the PayPal, if you click the like button, I want to thank you guys so, so very much. We got a new deck that's coming in through the Amazon wish list. I think it said it's coming in. I want to say on May the 7th on the good y'all listen if you listen come on and deliver that new deck on the full moon come on father you already know my heart Jesus come on now so listen thank you guys so very much I just realized that that just hit me that just hit me that that deck is coming in on the um, full moon so um Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. If anyone wants to support or if you want to book a personal private reading, thank you to every last one of you who have been booking personal private readings. You guys are absolutely awesome. Shout out to everyone that's in my study group and to my Collect the Gatherer study group. We connect every other Sunday. So thank you so much for our you know, the thing that we do, um, and all that blessed energy. If there's anyone that wants to connect with me, click that about tab. If you want to book with me, you reach out to me on Instagram, or if you don't have Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can reach out to me on this app called Google Hangouts. It's a free app. And the only thing you need is my email to connect with me again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Um, and again, if at any point in time, if you guys feel moved to so any type of love and support, um, all of that information is on the about tab as well. So let's do what we normally do. Of course, we always give thanks to Father God, the creator for every single thing um, that we have, everything that we are, everything that we're about to do. So Father God, come on through right now. Are you already talking through me? So Father God, we just want to give you thanks right now for the sign of Gemini. We are so thankful that we are just like uplifted, that we are confronting our fears. I seen, listen, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I already see confront. I already see confront. So listen, we being very blunt. <laughs> We're being very blunt while we confronting. So we confronting our fears. We are jumping over hurdles. We're facing all obstacles. We are, you know, listen, we are tested and we are reloaded, okay? So, um, Father God, thank you so much for this time to sit down and think, you know, have a little drink and just, you know, rekindle ourselves with the emotions of where we were when we were happy, when things were prosperous, when things were glorious, things were victorious around us. We had that glow on, you know, we got that glow on now. Just thinking about to all of that energy, we are in a creative stance, you know what I'm saying? Very, very, very patient, very, very diligent, working on our success and our growth, you know. So continue to work through us, Father God, continue to keep us, you know, in this peace be still moment um and not get agitated and frustrated because we can't move around and do what we want to do don't allow us to get in our heads too much and be thinking too hard you know what i'm saying so um just keep us where we need to be father god and um continue to just keep your hands on us and father's name we pray amen all right so let's get into <coughs> this energy with you yes ma'am so let's see, Gemini, what we got going, going, girl. My, 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 Gemini. How the time flies. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right, so let's see. Give me guidance. Oop. Boundaries. Come on now. Uh, Jim, jump, jump. Oh. Gemini said boundaries. I'm about to go in my bubble. Boop. Okay. Don't even try to come pop my bubble because I will pop you. Okay. We are in our safe place. We are correcting all mistakes. We are putting ourselves in a safe bubble. We are creating boundaries with people that we don't want around us no more. Come on, Father. Listen. Come on now. Now. Come on. With that waxing moon. 
Where do I want to go, honey? We going to the Game of Thrones. We're going to the Game of Thrones. Come on now. Why are we setting safe boundaries around ourselves, Father God? Oh. 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 Okay, so hold on. <sighs> Y'all, it's a lot of dead foliage around. Why well, it's a lot of dead shit? It don't, I don't know. It don't, it seems like those flowers are dying for some reason. You are naked as the day that you were born. You feel extremely vulnerable right now. I feel like that's why you are um, keeping yourself at a safe distance. Um, you're watching people, places, and things trying to grow um, around you and outside of you. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you feel too vulnerable right now to let whoever the fuck this is in. And as you can see, it's like this person is trying to grow right on the surface of this boundary that you... It's like, I don't know if this person... They see that you are vulnerable and, they, and you set this boundary up with them. And they are just close enough so you can see them try to grow. Because it's like they want to crack your bubble a little bit. I don't know if these people thought that you couldn't put a boundary up you know what i'm saying so i don't know if it's because you put a boundary up that they finally decided to grow you see the crack your bubble you see that and she like baby don't decide that you want to grow and show your ass once i seclude myself and i put myself at the same boundary that that ain't helping that ain't gonna crack my bubble boo you gonna crack your goddamn uh 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 you gonna crack your roots you gonna crack your roots trying to crack my bubble Okay, I'm keeping myself at a safe distance. Like, uh, I feel like someone's trying to show off their growth, and they're like right on the outskirts of. And but it's like you're watching them though. It's like you're watching this person grow. Ooh, why do I feel like someone's trying to crack your bubble? Cause they're growing now on the outside of you. And you like, okay, good. You should have did that with you should have been doing that shit without me, nigga. Like, what the fuck? The two of cups. Yeah, so this is definitely do you realizing this is not no soulmate situation? Like, yeah, I thought I loved you, but nigga, no, I don't. <laughs> Listen, Gemini! <laughs> Gemini! Gemini said, let me crack your bubble, okay? Look, don't don't fumble your roots trying to crack my bubble, okay? All right, why? Because I told you I don't love you no more. And I'm trying not to be vulnerable. And I'm setting boundaries and shit. You try to grow on the outside of me, baby. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't know you anyway. So why would I care? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> trying to hurt me. Do you understand? Do not hurt yourself. Try okay, come on, sister girl. You better listen. Jim and I said, I got something to say. I got something to say, girlfriend. Sit down. Get a cocktail. Girl, I have got... Not now. I got me some more. I ain't got no cocktail. Jimmy, now why you ain't telling me I need to get me a cocktail? Girl, now listen. You know we like to rap. You know we like to talk, girl. Hold on. Let me take a little sip. Because Jimmy and I got some shit to say, honey. Hold on. Let me see what she talking about. Oh, and the high fit in the reverse. Come on, Jimmy. And I said not to goddamn day, bitch. I did not come here to play. I do not like your rules. I do not like your structure. Get the fuck. Okay, girlfriend? I don't... Okay? I can't do worse than you. I can't keep running away, bitch. I ain't gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna stay away, okay, bitch? I don't need you. I don't need you. And I don't want you neither. Get the fuck on. Please get the fuck on. Chill, bye. Listen. The four swords. Listen, do you see... Oh, no, no, oh, don't be trying to revive no dead. Hold on. Who the fuck is this? Girl. Girl girl okay so we got the the three oh child i was about to say the three of swords you do see them three swords in the background right you do see that three swords in the background so i don't know if you done laid somebody to fuck the rest girlfriend because you trying to be at your best girlfriend i don't know if you was just praying over this person and just sending them well wishes or something but with who whatever is dead and gone to you Okay, them three swords, you done took them out your back and you done hung them up on the goddamn mantle, baby. Okay, you done hung them up on the mantle. You said, may peace be with you. 
I, I, I guess I'll see you at the crossroads or you won't be lonely. But see you at the crossroads or you won't be lonely. Bitch, okay, y'all don't hit that with me. So you won't be lonely. Come on, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I don't want to be married to you no more, girl. I do not want to be married to you no more. Oh, Lord, she said, I wish you dead, honey. Oh, God, no, oh, ma'am. She said, I wish you death, okay? I wish you go somewhere and just croak, okay, bitch? No, like, I'm <laughs> for real. <laughs> That's not even funny. It's like, it's serious. It's like, this girl is like so over. Whoever this is, is so over this commitment, this, whatever this situation is that they thought was love it wasn't love it was like a two-way love affair that's what they're saying like I don't know if this person had a relationship and they got with you and you had a relationship and you know what I'm saying I, I don't know it was like a two-way love affair or some shit like that and it's like it's finally time to like lay this shit to rest so I could do my soul searching and I could just be at peace with this shit because whatever it was, when it start in foolishness, it end in foolishness. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I wish you well. Like, I really wish that this shit was just over. I wish you would just rest in peace. You're good. Are you good? I'm good. Okay? So it's like, you know, I'm setting my boundaries, girl. Okay? Please go somewhere and, and have your growth experience outside of me. Like, please don't. It's, it's something like... It is something where someone is trying to do some type of growth transformation in your face. I don't know if they're trying to, with this magician here, energy, it's like, you know, trying to manifest greatness and it's like be vindictive about it because you know I do not like Littlefinger. Ain't that his name, Littlefinger? I do not like him. Like, ain't, with the magician, I don't give a fuck if Littlefinger is in the upright or in the reverse. I still don't trust this motherfucker. Do you understand? I do not trust this motherfucker. Okay? Whatever the hell he do, whatever moves and trades he make, it has to benefit him and him alone, girl. Alright? If you his friend and you leave and, and go run to the bathroom. He'll probably been a soldier child to some sex trafficker or something. This nigga is sick. Like, I'm serious. Like, this motherfucker don't think straight. This nigga is very narcissistic and very, it, like, has this very slick, very, like, if you, you would just meet little finger, he don't look like someone that is that evil and that manipulative and that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, this motherfucker, well, he don't play by the rules. Look, the Hierophant, he don't play by the rules. He don't play by the church's rules. Do you understand what I'm saying? His magic is non-traditional. Do you understand? So he might be getting into a little works and, and things that, you know, people don't normally talk about or whatever. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, I'm so, but the Hierophant in reverse and then the motherfucking magician, bitch, you better get the fuck out of here. Okay? Let me tell you something. I, I, I'm really getting a serious thing where it's like someone is setting up boundaries with someone because it's like whatever they did, they falsified love, they falsified evidence, they it's like <laughs> falsified love, falsified evidence. It's like you, it's like you kind of tricked me with this magician thing here to believe in and live in this non-traditional relationship, accepting, like this person was living outside of their boundaries here. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know, maybe they pushed their boundaries for this love. Maybe they did some things that they really wouldn't often do. And it's with this force was, I'd rather just be left alone. Cause it's like, it's like I'm sitting back thinking about everything that's happened. Um, and it's not that someone is wishing that someone would die, per se. But it's like, I wish you would die in my mind. Do you understand? You see what I'm saying? You see how this person is like, all right, it's dead. You're gone. All right, let me, I'm being at peace with it. I'm trying to move on. You know what I'm saying? Paying my respects to, you know, listen, no, it was a fucked up journey, but, you know, you broke my heart. But I appreciate whatever you taught me. I'm just going to make my peace with this shit. And I just don't ever want to see you again. I hope they bury you quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is like, I don't know. Like this, oh, oh I don't want to say that someone died, but fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, and another thing I'm going to tell y'all also, watch your fucking mouth, you I swear, I swear on my life because especially in today's day and age with all of this shit going on, it's like, please don't be saying like, 
I wish this, I wish, I wish this motherfucker would just die. He'd get on my nerves. I wish this motherfucker would just die. He'd get on my nerves. Be careful what the fuck you wish for. You understand what I'm saying? Please watch what the fuck you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, if you want to be alone, you're going to be alone with this hierophant. <laughs> you know what I mean? With this, with this hermit card. You're going to be alone to sit back and like really do. Someone is definitely being left alone to do some soul search. And I feel like this is something that they bought on themselves. I feel like with this hierophant in the reverse and this magician right here and the hermit, and especially with the four swords and the two cups, it's not love. They just wanted, they wished it dead so that they could just move on. And whatever it was, was not a traditional relationship. You see what I'm saying? It was definitely, it was not a traditional relationship. It didn't start out traditional and it didn't end in a traditional way. Okay? To the point where motherfucker just like, I just wish this motherfucker was dead and out of my life. That tells you how deep that motherfucker went. Okay? All right, let's go to this. Look, we got this. We're going to keep it here. Where to call the man, see, girl? You know, y'all uh, always be having these juicy ass goddamn readings. Y'all starting off like that. Tell the niggas, listen, you better grow somewhere the fuck outside of me. <laughs> I don't want to look at you growing. Go the fuck somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that is, is that why? The Joker, the Joker. It's like the joke is on you, bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the joke, okay. But this is like the good guy, though. This is the good guy. So what I'm saying is, it's like, to whoever this person that, you know, like, hurt you, it's like the joke's on you because at the end of the day, even though this person looks scary and looks, you know, intimidating, like, this person is, really is a good guy. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, just continue to go on. And, because remember, he got hurt by his brother. He got burnt by his brother. His own family hurt him. You know what I'm saying? And I guess the joke was on his brother because he did end up dying with his brother, fighting to the death with his brother, his own fucking flesh and blood, his own brother. You know what I'm saying? But after his brother hurt him, he just had to continue to just move on and fight his fear of fire and everything because he him being traumatized because his brother burnt him. And it's like all of this stuff like that. So it's like someone being burnt. I don't know if someone in your family could have backstabbed you and hurt you or something like that. But guess what? The joke is on them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, you was really the good guy. You was really, really the good guy here. What is this saying here? Here go the other joker. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See, I never decided a good joker or a bad joker in this deck. Because I like both of these guys. Like, isn't this, um, photo, 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 um, the big guy, the big guy, and he only said one word. Oh, my goodness. He was like another big giant. But you know what? In the beginning of the Game of Thrones, he was like the bad guy, but he ended up being the good guy, though. So I don't know if... Because a lot of people were scared of him. Photo. 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 Like, they just keep saying photo. But remember, in the in the end, when he was close, when he was dying, he kept saying... He kept trying to say, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door. But could nobody understand what he was saying? Close the door. Don't be no fool and close the door. And I'm, uh, Young, why do I always be getting magic and shit? Like, Young, I don't know if any of y'all fucking with fucking magic and shit like that. Close the door. The Hierophant in the reverse. And the magician. Fucking little finger. And this nigga. I thought he was the good guy, but he wasn't. This is the real good guy out of the Jokers. So it was like also saying, don't be fooled. I feel like he fought, he died an honorable death based off of the wrongdoings that he's done. Like he wasn't a good man throughout the whole Game of Thrones series. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I feel like he he met his fate. You know what I'm saying? And he had a lot of fucked up shit happen to him throughout the show. You know what I'm saying? Like he's definitely was a person throughout the show that was on a constant end of like karma. You know what I'm saying? Like so I feel like whoever was cuz I don't really see him as being a bad guy. I don't see him as being a bad guy at all. I know that this Joker car is telling you to close the door. Whichever door it is. You understand? I don't know if y'all don't open up some magical door with this harbor fate being in the verse with the magician. I don't know if you did something to set some boundaries against somebody. Hold on, let me close the door. Um, I don't know if you did, like... I don't know. Because some people could be in the... Light magic, some people get, get set boundaries and protect themselves doing other type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But only thing I'm saying is, if there was a door that you opened that you shouldn't have opened, you need to close the door. And you need to sit back and think about who you're getting communication and you're getting messages and you getting who you communicating with. The higher, you know, like the hermit is like going within, like really analyzing everything and what this is basically telling me and close the door like think about who the fuck you've been communi pay attention to who you be communicating with because with this magician and the hierophant in the reverse i don't feel like whoever the people that you've been communicating with are good people are trying to teach you safe for just like earth magic i don't think that's earth magic you know what i'm saying I, I, that's like blood magic you know what i'm saying so like just just be careful of the doors that you're opening close the door you understand what i'm saying and in regards to this thing you're trying to set boundaries with it's just like you're trying to end it you want to death to the situation then close the door you know what i'm saying um this two-way love affair type of situation right here. Like, at the end of the day, it don't even matter how the situation ended or began. It's about your growth and just having faith and continuing to move forward. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, it don't matter if you said, it don't matter if you started off, um, not necessarily being the most favorite character in the show. But towards the end of the show, by the way it ended, it was like everyone was kind of rooting for, everyone was rooting for um the Hound. You know what I'm saying? Everyone was rooting for the Hound. So it's like, we're rooting for you. We're rooting for you. The Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds represents like... Getting some type of help from a financial institution or something like that. Um, like uh, a three-way project or something. Like where there's a third entity that is bring, brought into something to ensure its financial success and things like that. Uh, um, it's something that two people couldn't just put their head together and figure it out. It's like they needed help from an outside source. So it's like an outside source. And then you got the three of hearts. So, two threes. The three of hearts represents new love. It represents new birth, fertility. Um, so, I don't know if... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um... I, oh shit, I don't want to say that shit. What I'm getting here is like, I don't know if you guys would have went to, if y'all went to someone to like help get some assistance, I'm going to say, and love fertility and financial stability type of things like that. It was like something that you couldn't do by yourself. Um... It's still some like reluctancy to follow some rules with the hierophant in the reverse. So it's like you're trying to find your own way to do it outside of traditional standards or rules or something. It's like cool. It's like you're getting help from somebody um, to get a new start in love and to get a new start in financial security. That's basically what it's saying to me there. Well, okay. Well, we're gonna walk away from that. We will pick up these Lenormand cards though. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm definitely doing y'all in a different order here, especially with these cards. I'm just going wherever, however the story is about to come out. The ring, the clock tower, the stork in the reverse, the mice, the fish, the ring. So, this is representing commitment, right? Commitment. Uh, emotional longevity, um, someone offering themselves to them in a loving, very affectionate way, the clock tower. Um, it represents like logical, you know what I'm saying? It, it represents something bring, being brought to light. It represents like, uh, hmm. How do I say this? This is the six of spades. The six of spades re represents a separation, like a death. Um, and then this is the stork. In the, and I really try not to read shit in the reverse, but I, I, I have to read this in the reverse. I feel like someone got tired of waiting on a proposal or something like that. Proof of love. Um... The clock tower is about timing, structure, um, like properties, possessions, like uh, having standards. Do you understand? Um, objects. The six of spades represents. So, wait a minute. The ace of clubs represents like a new activity, a new uh, passion, a new job, you know what I'm saying? Like a new role or something like that. Like you be something being proposed to you, something being offered to you so you can start a new beginning in something. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that is. It's like the Ace of Wands. That's like the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? Something uh, brand new with a new beginning, something that you could be very passionate and driven in, and also something that's going to bring a long time success, but you have to work towards it, you know what I'm saying, to keep its longevity and abundance, you know what I'm saying, but as long as the proposal is out there, it's like you know that you got something to work on, you know what I'm saying, you got something that you're working towards. The six of spades is somebody ending something so that they can go on this is that's a separation. You understand what I'm saying? Like I don't want to talk to you no more. I don't want to deal with you no more. Um, it's just better that we separate and just move on with our future. That represents time is up. You know what I'm saying? And with the stork being in the reverse and the queen of hearts in the reverse, so that's recognizing that something is not growing. Like you don't want children by this person anymore. It's like you know what I'm saying? Like um. It's like you could be infertile, um, like a, a, a sterile or something like that. Like you can't have any more babies or something like that. Um, there's no new, new life being brought into the picture or something like that. Like someone could be trying to get pregnant, um, looking for stability, looking for an offer and partnership and love and things like that. Trying to obtain that through a baby and feeling like they don't have a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know... Um, yeah, yeah, it's like not the queen of the queen of hearts with the stork being in the reverse. It's like not using the appropriate tools to obtain love. Um, that's why these threes are here. It's like using something else to solidify this foundation, a third party. You know what I'm saying? Like the diamonds and the hearts are not bad, but it's like you don't have a foundation on the on your own amongst the two. It's like you can't, y'all wouldn't be together if it wasn't for a baby. You know what I'm saying? That like that could have been a trap baby. Like you knew you was running out of time. If I don't have a baby, like this person ain't gonna want to stay with me or something. You know what I'm saying? Like or like <laughs> like yeah. I mean like that's 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 not. And I'm saying that because the stork is right there. I'm saying that because the stork is right there. So, this is saying to me, it's like, your time was up to, like, have this other baby or have a baby or something like that. Like, that's not the way to obtain love. Like, you're not going to get it that way. You understand? So, the mice 
represents worry, it represents um, anxiety, it represents uh, gossip, it represents thievery, um, yeah, it represents theft, you know what I'm saying, like someone stealing something from you, stealing time, you know what I'm saying, They said stealing someone's yearning for a new beginning by taking someone's money. Like this is someone that tried to take someone's money and to barter access from. I feel like someone stole their money and like secured it where they can't have access to their money anymore. Like this is not cool. And this, this child, this happened as a child, I feel like someone stopped this. God stopped it because like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I ain't liking this too much. I ain't even about the whole fucking lie. Bitch, I never lie. Period. The seven of... Okay, so the seven of clubs represents a hard worker, someone that works overtime a lot, like is constantly working, like is probably stressing themselves out and their body out, honestly, because they work so hard to like pay the bills and stuff like they barely have time for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the seven of clubs represents. And with this mice being on top of the seven of clubs, this is someone that stole their fucking money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whoever this hardworking person was, someone stole their fucking money. Fish represents wealth, abundance, financial security. That's someone's fucking money. Again, the mice, someone that's hardworking, that works a lot of overtime hours, that they work so much you barely even see them. You understand what I'm saying? The king, And then you got the king of diamonds, kingfish. So you're definitely dealing with a water sign person. I have a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And y'all know how cancers are about their fucking money. Okay? Cancers care a lot about their money. I can't say it. Now, Scorpios and Pisces, I can't even necessarily... But someone that is like a king of diamonds, I would say a cancer. Cancer pays uh, pays a lot of attention to their money. And I'm saying them because this is a water sign individual right here. Um, Aquari I feel like Aquarius, they're very hard worker. They're, they're innovators. So they like looking good, smelling good. They like to be in the life of a party. All of the Aquarius that I know, they all do well for themselves. Very high vibrational Aquarius. They definitely have a lot of money because they're very skillful. Um, Capricorns. Leo's yeah and some Tauruses too I know a lot of Tauruses that are financially especially a lot of Taurus females a lot of Taurus females this is king this is the kingfish here I have to get this person's money and to block their access I don't know if someone's being kicked out of a house or something. The Eight of Diamonds is a caution to how someone is spending their money. Just to watch how you're spending your time. Because as quick as you got it, as quick as it'll, uh, it'll be all washed away. But it looks like this one is going to be washed away and removed based on the person. It's like whoever this person is that this hard worker thinks that Oh, I'm coming home. I don't worked hard. I'm coming home. I'm about to relax and this, this, and that. No, you're not. Because this motherfucker don't love you. Like, they're really wishing that you would get the fuck away from them. Like, they're just wishing, like, death on you. For real, death on this situation. Like, I feel like this person... I don't know if they agreed to this non-traditional relationship and just ended up getting bitter and just decided that they didn't want... To, this isn't the type of commitment that they were looking for. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person tried to have a baby with you and still 
I feel like they're waiting for this commitment. You know what I'm saying? Like a marriage proposal or something like that. And I feel like the time has run out with that. With this six of goddamn spades. You understand what I'm saying? So they just decide I'm about to just... I'm not about to let this shit nag me anymore. This motherfucker don't want to be with me. Don't want to commit with me. I'm just going to steal their money. And I'm going to fucking um, ban them from coming to my house. So by the time this person come home, this person thinks shit... Listen... Close the door. Close the door. Like this person had closed the door and had like changed the lock so you can't get into this house no more. I don't give a fuck how much you paid in this shit. Well, whatever. Take me to court. Like if someone just did some vindictive, crazy, wild ass shit like that. Like that shit ain't cool. It's, again, let me see you grow. I don't place my boundaries. Let me see you grow outside of me. I thought I took your money. <laughs> Y'all funny as shit. It's like, you don't want to marry me? Fuck you. I hope you die. Like, that's, like, really. That is really, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if, like, two-way love affair. I don't know if you cheating and this person be cheating and it's, like, no commitment. And this person always saying that they working. And it's like, yeah, this person is working because you see the money there and things like that. I feel like you try to get, like, third parties in to kind of, like, help. Strengthen the commitment. Diamonds is commitment. Diamonds are forever. Commitment in the love. But I don't. Mm, mm, mm. The five of wands. Competition. The empress. So like I don't know. Like you could be pregnant again. I don't know if you are pregnant. And even with the baby or something. Like I don't know if the baby doesn't matter. It's still not birthing the beginning that you wanted you know what i'm saying like this commitment is still not birthing the ring the clock but let me try to tell y'all let me read this the clock the clock the clock the clock the clock represents objectivity enlightenment standards separation alienation authority analysis discovery innovation perspective forfeity institution structure protection okay all right all right listen like i told you putting shit in perspective and might i might need to end this shit to begin something new because shit ain't growing here like clearly it looks like it don't matter how many babies that you have you know what i'm saying or how fertile you are you know what i'm saying it's like this new world is is i don't know five of wands represents competition confrontations it represents arguments it represents like you guys not having the same views on the same subject um again you want a commitment this person is looking for a non-committal relationship you know what i'm saying you could have felt like they used their powers and stuff they felt like you were vulnerable and they kind of sucked you in and now with this hermit card you're having to go in and self-reflect and you're having to do like Little spells and magic and shit to create a safe bubble and all like, <laughs> brother. Like, I really do feel like this person had you competing for a beating. Like, had you competing for a beating. It's like you competed and you had a child or tried to have a child. Ever you tried to have, ever you, you are the, the, I feel like you guys have children with each other. Y'all have kids because it's one other thing that's connecting you guys. And it clearly has to do with this child. I don't know if you keep trying to have pregnancies to compete with other people, but it's not working. So that's why you just like, I'm just about to just cut out and just take this motherfucker money. Let's see how this motherfucker do without me. The king of pentacles. You expect this person to take care of you and be a father figure and do what they're supposed to do. But at the same time, you're not about to sit here and just be a fucking option for this motherfucker to choose from. Do you understand? You see how he's sitting up there listening to these singing bowls and shit? Nigga, you ain't about to keep tapping my bowl and tapping up a motherfucker bowl trying to figure out which one sound better. Bitch, get the fuck on. I'm not about to keep making that same mistake. The strength in reverse. This person recognizes the Gemini recognizes or whoever this is that is dealing with the Gemini. They recognize that. This person is a temptation for them. That's why I feel like this, I do feel like someone did some like type of spell work, some type of magic or something. I don't know if it's high vibrational or low, but I know someone did something. You understand? So that this person can't attach them. 
But you're you're watching them grow though. It's like you create a protective bubble because you feel vulnerable. Look, you feel vulnerable, naked as the day as you were born. Like this person does have some magic and knows how to manipulate and control you. That's why you had to do your little spell work to set your boundaries or whatever. But you did it just enough so you could watch this motherfucker. Like this person's not far from you. And I do feel like with this lack of strength there, it is like, um, it is an addiction of watching this person. And that is like, even though you put this protection there, like you still watch this person and this person does still have some type of control over you where you still need to demonstrate a little bit more strength because like, mm, what's this, the chariot in the reverse, a cancer. I was just talking about a fucking cancer. And then you got the Hermit again. You having to be by yourself to reflect. To get yourself in perspective. Because this person is not coming to you. Do you understand? Nothing is driving in the direction that you want it to. Do you understand? Like this person is actually going in the complete opposite direction of what the fuck you wanted. You understand? So it's like, I just rather be left alone. So I don't know if you locked this person out of the apartment. This person thought that they was going to work and they was coming home and they thought everything was going to be cool. Motherfuckers ain't cool. What is this? The two of swords. The two of swords. Like this person has to sit at home and do some self-reflection to take this blindfold off because it was like a willingness to not see. You know what I'm saying? The Gemini was like, I purposely, I realized now that I was purposely being blind to, to certain shit that was making it hard for me to make a decision. But now I see I need to take that blindfold off and really sit down and think, think, think for real what it is that I really want now that I can see everything for what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like literally being alone and needing that self time. And that's probably why you locked this motherfucker out and put your little boundary and you watching this bitch on the outside struggling trying to open up their door. You know? And spirit is like, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Look, because at the end of the day, everyone, it don't matter. I, I am not perfect at no fucking point where I ever tell you that I was perfect and I'm still not perfect I'm still working on myself so I have most definitely not been the most favorite character in the motherfucking story but at the end of the goddamn story everybody fucked with me though because I did what I needed to do to correct my path and you know what I'm saying I dealt with my karma however it came at me you know what I'm saying like I, did, I just dealt with it you know what I'm saying got a couple scars the motherfucker show it but I'm going to go out fighting, though. You know what I'm saying? Mama ain't raised no punk bitch. I ain't no fool. I'm going to keep moving forward. Do you understand? I don't give a fuck what my past is. My past does not determine my presence or who I currently am. The star. But the star is in the reverse. So, it's something about... I feel like you need to create a bigger boundary. You know what I'm saying? Like... At the end of the day, y'all could do all the spells and magic, hocus pocus and all of that shit if you want to. But it ain't going to work if you're not going to really put the damn work in and the determination on a physical level. Because you're talking about some spiritual shit. Okay, that's cool. But physically, what you going to do? You understand what I'm saying? Are you going to really work through these phases? Even when... Then y'all know the Scorpio full moon about to come up. Okay? So that can put you through some dark emotions, especially when you're trying to walk away from some shit. You're trying to close the door to some shit in the past. That could put you through some dark emotions, especially if it's somebody that you know that you have lack of strength with. You know what I'm saying? The only thing they got to do is pull their dick out or, or, or flash their puss at you and you be running right on back trying to have another motherfucking baby and shit. You understand? Thinking that shit's going to change. It ain't going to change shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to create this boundary, you need to create this boundary and stop watching them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm to, to wait till the Scorpio full moon come around. It's going to ring y'all ass. You understand? It's going to ring your ass. And give me guidance for my Geminis. Emotional release. Yeah, you need to go through a purge and an emotional release. Like I said, you got to put that work in. You got to put that work in. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got burnt for real. You got some motherfucking um, aloe vera here. 
you got a, a, a quill, a light, you got all these herbs and shit like that. It's like you're studying your work. Like you got burnt. And it taught you how to study your work. I don't know if it's your spell crafting work or something like that. To do spiritual rituals to like heal yourself after you get burnt. But it's like... Um, now I'm not thinking that these are... But it's something about... Yo... I don't know if maybe in the past you were doing bad witchcraft or something and now you're changing this shit around and your work is a little bit more positive and it's good and more self-healing. You see the type of stuff that she's working with? It's healing those burns and those pains with that aloe vera and like, looks like common cooling herbs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, help with her spiritual wellness and balance. It looks like that's what you're doing now. Because in the star, the star reverse, it's like you, you didn't... You don't have no hope, no faith, no wishes. You know what I'm saying? For betterment in the future. It's like you were just dealing a little bit and using your work to kind of get your way and manipulate things. You know what I'm saying? In your favor. And all of that shit backfires. Like I'm dead serious. Like y'all can't y'all can't do spiritual work to fuck with people's free will. New beginnings. Create a sacred space. Self-love. Changes. What the fuck did the whole damn thing flip over? Oh, shit. I'm, I don't know. Flip this shit over. Changes. And then what's this last one? A new day. Alright? Because I definitely feel like all of that applies. So let me just keep it cute right there. So again. Again. We have emotional release so you guys might be crying a little bit because i feel like whoever this is went through a lot and they competed like you literally competed and i feel like had a baby with this person to try to prove your love and i see i, I still don't see i don't see i am not seeing i see the baby I see the regret possibly of a baby and you still ain't getting the ring and shit like that. Just let it go. Create a sacred space where you can focus on yourself and that self-love. Listen, that's the only way that you're going to take that blindfold off and be able to make positive, like, good decisions. Like, it's like you got to be by yourself. This motherfucker don't know what he want or she want. And they're not even moving positively in your direction. They're coming to you with fairy tales. You know? Like, no. You gotta use your strength. You gotta use your strength. And that's why you're going inside doing this self-reflection like that. You're learning self-love. Again, changes, new beginnings, in a new day. And you see how it's raining right there for the new beginnings? That's the new beginnings, right? You see all that rain? So every single tear that you cried, every last thing that you tried back then, it's going to make for a better day now. As soon as you close the door and let go. And like I said, do the self-healing and purification ritual or whatever. Do positive stuff. Like, please don't be, y'all, please watch yourself. Y'all getting into that dark magic crafting and shit. Y'all be getting, man, y'all have no idea how many people that I fucking talk to. And y'all scare me. It's like y'all are too easily manipulated and influenced to. And y'all, a lot of y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all fucking with. And y'all don't be knowing what y'all opening the door to. Y'all just want love. Y'all just want to keep a man. Or you just want to keep a relationship. You just want someone not to go. Y'all cannot fuck with people free will. You understand? So I'm really feeling like this was someone in the past was a fool and was fucking with witchcraft and really didn't know what they was doing but just trying to get what they wanted only thing happened was the shit backfired shit backfired shit backfired whole bunch of wasted time it still ends up in separation y'all seen what that clock said time's up separation but all of this shit happened for a purpose it's to get you to understand 
who you are and how important that you are. And make sure that you be careful for what you wish for. Because if you wish for a motherfucker that ain't shit, you're going to get just that. And this person going to treat you like you ain't shit. Don't ever lose your sense of value. That's that. that, that this, and this is about getting that self-love back. Knowing who you are. Knowing how bright your future is. So you're doing positive works now. Positive works now. Might've, you might have got introduced to it by... You might have got introduced to doing energy work by people influencing you and teaching you... I feel blood magic. I'm, I'm serious. I really do. I really, 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 really do. Um, but it looks like things are changing. And you are trying to work towards a new day. Let's get a little bit more information in regards to love. And then we're going to close this out. I'm going to probably do like this one and like one more spread for you. Um, please give us guidance for my Gemini's. In regards to this boundary that they're setting, give us new information on love. Cause it look, I mean, cause with the three of hearts, this is them trying to positively get help from someone so that they can have a new beginning in love. Like it seems like they really do just want new love. So let me tell you real quick what the three of hearts means. The three of hearts represents beauty, happiness, new love relationships. A love triangle if surrounded by spades. All right. Creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry, artwork, fertility, blood and life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo. Pregnant again. Increasing something beautiful such as blooming flowers. A developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. All right. And then the three of diamonds, just to be clear, <laughs> a small sum of money, a pavement, financial growth, partial success, partial effort, part time work, scattered energy on again, off again. Preservance is needed for success, a lack of focus and or commitment relationship readings it shows a lack of commitment and fickleness and changeability okay two of diamonds represents communication do you understand intellectual exchanges insurance written paperwork you understand what i'm saying so it's like and again it does rep rep uh, represent like help from another institution from somebody do you understand what i'm saying like <laughs> so in order for something to be on again and off again it got to be going to something else right right so it's like a third atmosphere in here either to help it work or like it said to help it fail or it could be financial news. And you already know to be said something about someone trying to steal somebody fucking money. So, anyway. So, this says trust and release. Again, that's that number zero. That full card going out on faith and the release that represents the death card. Yeah, you need to have a full emotional release so that you can have this new day and you can focus on this self-love and this abundance. Let's just close it out with some parting words and then we get out of here, Gemini. Setting boundaries because you realize that this is love. I don't feel like you're committing yourself to a non-committal situation anymore. You keep having fucking babies and shit and just like... No, with this king of pentacles, it's like, listen, just give me this fucking money and just leave me the hell alone. Look, you ain't staying up worrying about that shit no more. Page your bonds. King of cups in the reverse, all right? Listen, you're not competing no more, all right? Oh, no, Lord Jesus. So, listen, this is what it is. So, again, you are realizing that you need to release it because it's like... I'm just waiting for some information for new beginnings. Like I'm just I'm just waiting for like this communication to come through. I'm just putting my best foot forward. And I'm just really ready to start all over again. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for some good news. I'm tired of thinking about shit that's been hurting me and it's been driving me crazy and it's been 
having me worried sick I'm tired of fuck worrying I'm finally ready to rest and go to bed and have a peaceful night of sleep without thinking about what someone is doing behind my back trying to backstab me I'm focusing on a new day a new day a new day that's it released and trust um, with this five of pentacles right here this is basically telling me right now you are hurt and financially hurt as well but more emotionally hurt you know what I'm saying in regards to like needing counseling you know what I'm saying so that three of hearts again like I'm trying to tell you you might be looking for a, a, a small sum of money like some financial help like you know so financial help, and you might have helped yourself from two of this shit because you look like you don't stole this motherfucker money and you barred them access like, and locked the motherfucker out. Like, you know, change the locks on the motherfucker because the person was making you fucking sick. The more and more you stayed in this shit, the more and more that you were suffering in a place of lack of self-worth. I deserve better. I don't want to keep dealing with someone that's, look, like I told you, on again, off again, in and out, fickle listen three hearts even though there's no space over here only thing we got is the joker's card you got one good joker and one bad joker do you understand so let's look at let's call the thing a thing I, don't, I, I can't beat someone's options it's keeping me in a place where I feel defeated I feel depleted I won't repeat it I'd rather ask for help from the right source, from the right energy. Try to get my money up so I can get better. It's like I don't even feel good right now. I don't know if y'all like y'all y'all don't feel good right now. And it could deal with pregnancy sickness and stuff like that. And it's like you already can't fucking sleep because you're pregnant. You know what I'm saying? You just your body just going all over the place. And this motherfucker ain't at home. This motherfucker out doing with her. And then the King of Cups, that's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or just any male. I mean, Knight of Cups or any male or any female. People that chase uh, attention. They'll fall, they'll fall in love with anybody that showed them attention. So it's like one minute they'll be in love with you. But as soon as somebody else bat their eyes, it's like, oh, this motherfucker like me too. Oh, let me go over there. This person really doesn't know love. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't even know the beginning aspect of a healthy relationship. This person will come into your life quickly and then shut you out like they ain't never fucking know you. Child and all. They don't care if you hurt. They don't care if you hungry. They don't give a fuck. As long as their needs are being met elsewhere by someone else, they couldn't give a fuck what was going on with you. And that's why you say, you know what, I will refuse to compete anymore. Because I already see where you put me at. You put me out here like you ain't give a fuck about me. Ain't give a fuck about this pregnancy. You clearly don't give a fuck about love. You're showing me by your actions that I'm not your soulmate and this ain't meant to be. So at the end of the day, listen, I don't care how I got into this relationship with you. That don't mean that I don't deserve respect, especially if I'm the mother of your child. This is an emotional release. Yeah, I'm changing the locks. I don't want you here no more. I'm creating sacred space. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to be fucking around with me like that, treating me like no fucking option. Okay? What do we say? Self-love. That's the only option I choose. I would not spend another goddamn night wasting a good night of sleep worrying about someone that is out there worrying about other people instead of focused on me. Baby, I don't compare with the fuck I don't compete with. All right. So if I need to get some help from a financial institution or something to help me right now, because this motherfucker left me out here with these kids and ain't worrying about how the fuck we eating and how the hell life is treating us. You just blocked this out of your life. That's OK, because I'm a mother bullet. What? What I need to do? I need to do some protection spells or some shit. That's cool. Because I do feel vulnerable right now. My emotions is a little raw right now. You understand? Actually, I feel sick and I'm tired of staying up. Spirit told me close the door. Spirit told me close the door. That's the only way that you're going to be able to go inside and do the self-reflection. 
and listen to the messages and get the shit from the right source this time. So listen, Gemini, this has been y'all reading. I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. I love y'all. If this video has resonated with y'all, because it's about closing the door and about your self-worth. You need to realize the star that you are. You can't do it if you're still begging to get back into places where people don't have no commitment to you. And they don't want to follow the rules. And they're teaching you to be just as bad as they are. Have you ever been in a relationship where you came into it as a nice person, but you ended up fucking around with some fucked up people and you became a fucked up person? Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, a rule breaker right with them? Exactly. And you realize real quick, oh, that's the magician. That motherfucker knew what they was doing the whole time. I don't trust this. I don't trust little thing. I don't give a fuck if he upright or reverse. I done told you I don't trust him. I don't trust you. Anyway, I love y'all. <laughs> Peace. She said the death, death becomes him. Listen, let him let him rest and let him be good and tell him to leave me the fuck alone. Three of swords in the back. Look, listen, Jack. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. I'm done. Anyway, I love you, Gemini. Peace.